Hello, uh, traders. It's me, Latam Magar. Um, I hope you guys are doing well uh, and uh, hope uh, you had a um, very good uh, weekend as well. Um, today, um, it's my apology, you know, for not being able to, you know, come on live uh, or I normally used to, you know, come on Sunday. Um, but, you know, I was very uh, busy. Uh, that's why, you know, uh, I could not come on live. Anyway, um, basically, I'm going to be breaking down all the minor, minor pairs on uh, daily uh, time frame. So uh, stay tuned, guys. OK, uh, so there um, there will probably be, you know, some opportunities um, on uh, coming uh, week. OK, so let's see um, if um, we can have, you know, uh, some pairs um, on the pipeline. Right. So let's go for AUD CAD. Um, so I'm just going to go like, you know, daily chart. So here you can see uh, the market has already started. However, here you can see um, <clears throat> that's the zone there. Uh, so the uh, previous, obviously, uh, is strong resistance. Uh, it could turn to uh, support now and it could, you know, uh, go up. That's what I can uh, see. Um, but I don't go um, up now uh, as um, it could, you know, melt down to this location here, this zone here. So if it goes, you know, down there, then if it shows like um, uh, the the bullish environment, then I might go for long. So until then, I don't do anything uh, with this pair. Uh, AUD CHF, uh, yeah. Uh, so it is still. Um, so here you can see that's the impulse, and uh, uh, we have just seen one red candle. That means um, the the market should have already started to you know pull back. Um, but I, I'm going to wait until um, it comes back to this um, zone over there uh, where the market should come. Um, okay, market should come here, um, you know, retest that level or test that level um, or respect that level. And then if it goes, you know, uh, continue up, I might look for, um, you know, longing opportunity over there. Uh, AUDJPY. Um, so AUDJPY again, I can see you know quite a strong impulse there. Um, so it is you know continuation. Uh, when it you know comes back to this um, area, uh, which is you know previous resistance, uh, could turn to uh, support. Then I might look for a longing opportunity. Okay. Right. <clears throat> uh, AUDNZT. Right. Okay, AUD and JD. What I can see, um, that's the previous high, uh, and uh, market. It looks like you know, um, it is uh, being uh, consolidated here, uh, and finally, I think the market um, was able to um, break uh, our hope. So it looks like market from this place, I think it can go um, up. So it may create another um, higher high uh, at this point, that what I can see. Um, but I don't look for anything um, on AUD and ZD. So um, AUD um, USD. Right, okay, so AUD USD, what I can see again, I might have gone with this one earlier today. Uh, as I've said earlier, like you know, um, when it comes back to this location, uh, this zone here, then um, on the retest, yeah, I might look for um, longing opportunity. Uh, CAD CHF, what I can see is right, okay, that's the strong. Um, resistant area it has already you know approached uh, so it looks like it, it is quite um, strong uh, with the pattern of w that's the w pattern so it might come back and retest that level so it looks like you know market has already um, uh, retraced but this um, this week it it might go up you know uh, grab the liquidity and it might come back uh, to that zone 
uh, that's what I can see. So it might create another higher high. So that was the higher high, and that was the previous higher high. And it might look, you know, it might create another higher high and come back and uh, retest or respect that area. That's what I can see. Okay, cat JPY. Right, so cat JPY again, uh, it has already reached uh, to the you know strong resistant area. So it has already created in you know, a W button over there. So it might come back and retest you know uh, that zone over there. Okay, so it looks like um, the environment is still bullish. Uh, so it's still, you know, it might go, um, you know, and uh, it can create another higher high. Okay, so it looks like it is still, um, still strong. Right, uh, CS, CSFJPY. So CSFJPY, what I can see here is, mm, right. So that's the high high, the previous one, and uh, that's the previous higher high, higher high, higher high. So, um, yeah, I think that that's that's not the red candle. Uh, no, okay. Um, so yeah, that that's the higher high. Uh, means you know impulse correction continuation so it might come back and retest you know that level so if it comes back there and shows um bullish environment then i might go for long euro AUD, the environment is still bearish so until you know uh it comes it it, it goes up you know to test that level then I might look for um, sell. Okay, so impulse, correction, and continuation. EuroCAD, uh, EuroCAD, it looks like the environment is still, you know, um, strong, but it has already reached uh, to the uh, strong resistance. Now it turns to, you know, uh, support, so it might go back to you know test uh, that level and when it goes there i might look for another sale okay um euro chf so it looks like you know it is heading sideways uh, however um the strong you know uh, support zone is there so previously that was the strong support there was another support you know drawn to resistance and now support means um it could you know um it could um retrace from this level um so it it might go down or up uh, that's why you know in this situation like you know i should not should not be you know looking for any opportunities okay so it should be better to ignore. Uh, Euro GBP, um, right, okay. What I can see is a strong, you know, uh, support zone is there uh, and the market has already reached here. So it looks like it, it will, it may you know, create in inverse uh, or inverted um, head and shoulder. So from here, the market can, you know, uh, shoot up like that. So if it shows like, you know, um, uh, so uh, bullish environment, I might look for uh, longing opportunity. However, um, however, if you're gonna have a look the trend line, yeah, so trend line, it looks like it should be from here. Uh, yeah, those, those areas like, you know, it might, it might, you know, go and test um, trend line uh, resistant areas so uh, when it goes up then obviously that that is going to be your uh, upside target 
So obviously, you know, you will not be able to, you know, get one to three. Hence why you have to just ignore, uh, you know, this kind of pair. Okay, Euro JPY. Um, so here you can see that's the strong um, resistance. Okay. So yeah, this these areas, you know, are the strong res, uh, resistance areas. Now it turns to you know support, so it might go up or down. So in this situation again, you know you could see you know market um, was always like you know um, sideways for like a um, couple of weeks. So in this case, like you know I'm gonna ignore. However, the environment is still you know um, bullish. But you and ZT. So Euro and ZD, uh, it looks like it has gone down. Okay, it was, yeah, already broken the uh, previous strong um, support area. Uh, again, that was another support. Now it turns to resistance, and from here, market is still you know can melt down. However, when it you know goes up uh, to you know retest that level, I might look for sale. Okay, Euro and ZT uh, again, you know, it is moving sideways. So I basically, you know, ignore uh, that sort of um, pair. GBP odds, uh, what I can see is it's a strong impulse. So when I see, you know, uh, shallow uh, and deeper uh, retracement up to that level, I might look for another sale. Uh, GBP card. Um, yeah, it looks like it has already created an uh, overextended M um, pattern. So in this case, it might go back and retest that level, which is a uh, strong support, you know, could turn to resistance. Then from there, I might look for a sale if the environment is uh, bearish, okay? So GBP um, CHF, um it is moving sideways it, it looks like you know it is uh, uh being trapped in between those um strong resistance and uh, support areas okay so yeah so market can still you know move up and down okay so series of like you know um movement uh to us the sideways so i might not look for um, any opportunities, okay. Uh, GBP JPY uh, again, that was very strong, and market you know went up. It has already you know made uh, triple top, so from here market you know melt down up to those level over there, okay. So yeah, um, if it was um, bearish environment, then I might look for sell. Um, however, if I can't, um, yeah, around about like, you know, 100 pips. So I might not look for uh, this opportunity as I am a swing trader. So it, it, yeah, it, it does not give that much uh, pips or reward, you know, for risk. Okay, GBP and ZD again. You know uh, that is a strong impulse already. You know, you know it has already made uh, double top. Sorry, double bottom. So if it goes um, up to that level, uh, then I might look for sell. Uh, however, because of, you know uh, the market has already created a uh, double bottom, so I might look only for um, that level, not you know. Below that level means if uh, I can have like you know uh, one to three um, the, uh, one one is to you know three risk and reward then I might look for short shorting opportunity from there. Okay, GBP USD yeah again it is moving sideways. Okay, so on until and unless I see the market can you know break up or down 
then I might look for sell or buy after that, you know. And the decad, um, yeah, it looks like, you know, impulse, now it is correcting. However, I still need to see another, you know, couple of uh, red, um, uh, very tiny candles, so that, you know, I might look for um, buy, buying opportunity. So, and the DCHF, yeah, what I can see is, is uh, impulse. Yeah, if I see shallow correction up to that level, then when it you know comes to that level, I might look for buy opportunity. NZJPY, yeah, again, um, it should be uh, better if it can have you know deeper uh, retracement. Then I might look for buying opportunity. NZUST, yeah, I think um, I'm gonna look for. Um, buy opportunity uh, so it has already you know tested those areas there okay so now i think it should be better to look for um longing opportunity so i might have a look tomorrow for this one okay usd card what i can see is um yeah so that's the previous uh, strong support area. So, you know, the market, you know, broke um, uh, that level down and went up to, you know, retrace. Uh, however, that is still, you know, uh, a, um, weak. So it might, it might go up uh, and uh, might, you know, come back down. So I might look for, you know, sorting opportunity as soon as it shows um, bearish movement okay i might look this one for tomorrow uh usdchf um okay so that was the strong uh support zone that one there uh, as soon as you know it broke uh, below then went up in the back below down means um Again, the market, you know, uh, went up uh, and uh, uh, broke that level. Means the the new candle, you know, might come back. Uh, respect that area, okay, that uh, zone over there, and it might go up, making like inverted head and shoulder. So yeah, I might look for this one as well. We'll see. We will see. However, the, the environment is still bullish. Don't get me wrong. It might, you know, go down. As we can see, you know, very strong um, impulse there. So there are still, you know, uh, sellers in control. Uh, USDJ pay. I think that's the final one for today. Um, so, yeah, uh, here we can see it has already reached to those areas there. Um, means um, okay also it has created you know W um, pattern there so it might come back and you know retest uh, that level there so yeah we, we could look for you know um, sorting opportunity yeah I think that's it uh, for uh, 28 pairs. Um, so let me know, guys, in the comment section below, uh, what do you think of those, uh, any of those pairs? Um, and uh, let me know if you like, um, you know, my uh, analysis or not. Um, I've just done like, you know, uh, daily um, analysis. So it should be better to, you know, go and check on the uh, monthly, weekly, and daily uh, for the uh, direction and uh, whenever you execute your uh, trade it should be better to go and um, you know analyze on the fourth uh, four hour uh, chart and then you can you know execute from there okay however um, if I get a time or if you you know um, ask me to you know analyze any uh, single pair uh, then I might, you know, go for like, you know, weekly, monthly, daily, 
and I might look for um, four hours uh, where to you know enter um, or where to exit uh, uh, and uh, where where is going to be your uh, target sort of sort of thing. Okay, so uh, stay tuned, guys. Okay, and uh, let me know in the comment section below if, uh, whether you like my um, breakdown or not. Um, all the best for up upcoming um, weeks and months, maybe. Uh, good luck. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.